Hi guys, I just want to show you how to create a knurled knob such as this. This is for an air fryer which broke on the original. So essentially, um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, in a new document, I'm going to create a circle. Um, I'm going to create this as 34. We're going to extrude this to about 18. Now we're going to use the shell command and we're going to put about two, actually sorry, two, I like that. Now at the bottom we're going to create the stem which actually fits onto the shaft of the potentiometer. So we're going to do that by using the center rectangle tool select the top view and if I remember correctly it was 10 10 by 10 this was extruded to about 50 mil now we're going to create a shape on the top surface. We're going to start off by making a circle. It was six mil. We're going to create a line somewhere because we want to do uh, a shape for the D shaft. Now we want to right click the we want to press D right click this select tangent so we make the dimension select the outer side of the circle and not the center point we're going to excuse me press a D, D again uh, for dimension select tangent click here click the line and if I remember it was 4.7 some things happen. Four point seven. Now what we're going to do is extrude this by hitting E and we're going to extrude it down by fifteen. Fifteen mil. Now what I'm going to do is create some support. These are going to be uh, the ribs. So I'm going to go into the bottom surface and create a line that goes from the edge to the circle edge. I'm going to use the offset by pressing O, press 0.5 and then go minus 0.5. Now we can extrude this So it's flush by selecting two objects and we're going to select this surface here. So that's one rib. Now we can add fillets now. So can, we're going to press F, press something like two, three, one, it's up to you. And add fillets. This reduces the concentrated stresses. And add them here as well. Can even add them here now what we're going to do is go to circular pattern we're going to select all the features that made this rib so it was the fillet the extrusion Let's select the axis you can change this to four and I missed one so we need this one as well. Um, so there's this, 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 possibly this, which I'm not selecting for some reason. Whoops. This, this. I'm not sure why that's. Let's go back. 
We're going to select this, 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 and not this. Um, for some reason, it's not. not uh, making it so what we're going to do is make another circular pattern and select faces and let's just do it using this tool the rest of them it's just them that are missing we're going to set the same axis as before change this to four and now you can see we've got the fillets where we should have had them while we're here we're going to fillet the corners type in something like two. Now, before we start doing the knurling, we're gonna add a fillet. So I'm gonna use about two. And I'm gonna chamfer this by about 0.5. Now we can do the knurling. So, do the knurling. What we wanna do is go to coil. I'm gonna select the bottom surface. We want to make it the same diameter as we did this circle originally. So this would be 34. Now we want to change the revolutions to 0 0.25. So quarter revolution. We're going to change the height. We can do that by dragging up to the same height as what we made this, which was 18. So it would be minus 18. We're going to set the section and make it Usually it's on circular at the beginning, but we don't want that. We want it on triangular internal. As we look closer, that's much too bags, big. So we're going to make the section size about 0.6. You can change this if you like. Um, the more you change it up, the deeper the cut will be. So three will be massive, which is way too much. 0.6 or 0.5 should be fine. So the next step we want to do is create a mirror of this V-score. We can do that by going to mirror, go to the feature, go to mirror plane, select this plane, click OK. Now we can go to circular pattern, go to features, select the mirror and the original feature, select the axis, select uh, this axis. And we're going to change the quantity to something like 40. We want uh, quite small squares. If we go to 30, can see they get a little bit too big so 40 seems about right uh, although there's no hard fast rules for that and click OK now this part will take quite a while so I'm just gonna gonna pause until it's done okay it's finished so we can see we've got nice V scoring this will 3d print quite nice it will give a texture uh, for the knob so it's not just an aesthetic it's actually uh, it actually helps with the grip. Um, one thing I need to mention here is this was supposed to go into a shaft, um, a D shaft, so it's flat on the on the one side. Um, what we could do, it's not strictly necessary if you want an extremely tight fit, but I don't want a tight fit that I have to use a hammer to get it on. So what I'm going to do is use Q, and we're going to offset this by about 0.2, actually minus 0.2, and we're going to do it here as well, minus 0.2. So because it's almost uh, uh, it's a closed loop kind of section, this will equal out to be a 0.4 clearance in total um, from this side to that side. The wiggle room for the shaft, if I bring in the shaft I made earlier, Need to save this. If you bring in the shaft, let's let this save for a moment. So if you bring in the shaft, press M move it up oops move it up we're going to use a line
going to select this bottom surface actually we're going to select the bottom surface but we're going to select the cross as well and we're going to do the same thing select the cross you can see that we need to we need to change the angle and we can see that we have a 0.2 clearance on the side which if we were to push the shaft all the way to one side we'd see that's a 0.4 um, so we can press I to use the measure tool select this select this surface if we can see it's not doing it correctly but if we pretend we're doing a sketch and I draw a line from here to here we can see it's about 0.4 so that's perfect for a not too tight fit so yeah, so essentially, um, thank you for watching this video. I uh, hope this helped. Um, yeah.